This Parsha is the second of three in a row that follow the story of Joseph, which makes Parshat Miketz sort of like the Empire Strikes Back of Torah portions. This episode begins with Joseph in a dungeon in Egypt where he's been for 12 years. In prison, Joseph became known for his ability to interpret dreams for the other prisoners. Coincidentally, the Pharaoh of Egypt had a couple of disturbing dreams and happened to be looking for a dream interpreter. Through word of mouth, Pharaoh heard about Joseph. Pharaoh told Joseph that in his dream he was standing by the Nile when he saw seven healthy cows emerge from the river. Then, seven starving cows emerged and stood by the healthy ones. They looked so hungry they could eat a cow, and they did. Pharaoh watched in horror as the starving cows ate the healthy ones, and then he woke up. He fell back to sleep and dreamed of seven plump and delicious ears of grain, and seven ears of grain that were withered and wind-burnt. Just like the cows, the seven sickly ears swallowed the seven healthy ones. Joseph explained that the dreams indicated that God was about to bring seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of severe famine. Joseph recommended that in response to the prediction, Pharaoh find a wise man to oversee the process of grain collection during the years of plenty to avoid the years of famine. Pharaoh liked the plan and decided that Joseph should be the guy to make it happen. Joseph was appointed as the viceroy, Pharaoh's supreme representative. It was like a dream come true for Joseph. Pharaoh dressed him in fine silk robes and gave him jewels. He gave him an Egyptian name and an Egyptian wife. For seven years, Joseph oversaw the collection and storage of crops for the Pharaoh and made a killing selling it back to the starving Egyptians who had grown it in the first place. The famine was so widespread that starving people even started traveling from other countries to buy food in Egypt. Among them were Joseph's brothers who came all the way from Canaan. He'd been away from them for 20 years, and in those 20 years, he never called, he never wrote. The dysfunctional family dynamics ran deep. So you can imagine how freaked out Joseph was when his family showed up asking to buy food like everybody else. Joseph's appearance had changed so much that his brothers didn't recognize him, and he didn't let on. He saw the opportunity to make his childhood dream come true, to finally have the power to make his brothers bow down before him. Joseph had come so far. He went from a penniless prisoner to one of the most powerful men in Egypt. His life was like a dream, but it all disappeared in an instant when his brother showed up. It was pretty much a nightmare. He acted like a manipulative jerk to them, and then he was nice, and then he was a jerk again. And in the midst of all that, he had to leave the room a few times because he didn't want his brothers to know he was crying. His external transformation hadn't prepared him for the internal drama brought about by the unexpected appearance of his family. Despite Joseph's extreme makeover, the clothes, the jewelry, even the new name, he hadn't changed as fully as he'd hoped. His transformation turned out to be more dream than reality, despite his determination to put his past behind him. He'd even chosen names for his sons that proclaimed that he was new and improved. Manasha, the oldest son, means something like, God made me completely forget my hardship and parental home. The younger one he named Ephraim, which means double fruitfulness. But proclaiming he had changed and dressing differently wasn't enough. Real change is about changing how you act. Today, some Jewish parents follow the custom of blessing their children on Friday night. To their sons they say, May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. Unlike Joseph and his brothers, Ephraim and Manasseh didn't let their sibling rivalry get out of control. And now, thousands of years later during Shabbat each week, Joseph's sons are still acknowledged for the righteous way they acted. It's a parent's dream come true.